तो हम ज्यादा कुछ नहीं करेंगे एक सीधा सा सवाल लेते हैं विदाउट माइक आई गेस ये चलना चाहिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है थोड़ा होगा माइक का समटाइम्स क्या वो प्रॉब्लम आ जाता है एरर का सो वॉइस इज क्लियर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट बट लिटल बिट वो फैन का नॉइस आएगा दैट्स ऑल बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट अगर उसको किया और डिस्टर्बेंस आया तो टाइम वेस्ट होगा इसलिए फाइन सो What is 141? It is talking about the two important aspects. All right. When I speak about section 141, first is the qualification, and second it is talking about disqualification. All right. Qualification and disqualification. 141. Let's begin this question with the two important questions, okay? And then we will just try to solve it. That basically, what is the concept of these two? Question goes like this: Suppose company wants to appoint Mr. Sunil. Okay, I think Chetan ko Mr. Achha nahi lagta. Ta usko see kar de. Aao kya data? See Sunil as company auditor. Yes, sir. Sir, the government had given this sir for the uniform for the CS exam, sir. CS exam. Yes, sir. So this is the proof for all of the students. Where's the uniform? Sir, uh, uh, she just asked us to get the admit card, uh, and those who don't have the admit card, uh, bring their mail as a sign of proof. Okay, I should keep this or I should. Yes, sir. Wait. All right. So here the company wants to appoint C S Sunil. Right. No, no. I think I have to. So Sunil uh, and Associates, a CA firm, as company auditor. Listen to my words here. The firm is going to be proposed here. Details of the firm are as follows. Detail number one. Total number of partners. R15. All are CS. All are CS. CS. However, however, eight of them are practicing in. The USA. Examine the eligibility. Examine the eligibility of the form. So that's the first question: whether this form can be appointed or hired as the auditor owner. See this in Bhatan Kurta. Total: how many number of partners are there? Fifteen. All are CS. Chal, usko koi koi doubt nahi. They are practicing, but majority of them are practicing outside India. So, how many of them are practicing in India? Seven. So here, fundamentally, I am asking you a question that if majority of the CS in my firm are practicing outside India, whether this firm is eligible to be appointed as the auditor for the company or not? Maybe we have a doubt like this. Still, so seven CS are there. some of them can sign the balance sheet what's the problem in that so here we have to see what section 141 talks on that all right another question i would like to take before i go to the answer and that is see it says that there is let's say ca kamal appointed as 
auditor for CA Kamal has been appointed as the auditor for ABC Limited. We'll take it this way. At the time of appointment, he was holding the shares in the company of rupees 10,000. Is this appointment valid? That's the question. Next is what would be your answer if CA Kamal holding zero but his wife is holding rupees 40,000. So now this is what is the question and this is face value whether I have put 10,000 there or 40,000 here those are face values there. So these two questions how do you answer karo? Look before touching any topic what I believe is like we should try to understand how do questions come from that. Because ultimate satya is what is that? Question answer is that. The study what you can't use to solve the problem, I, I don't think so that's the proper study. So these two questions are in front of you. And these are just examples, still so many questions are there. But I'm telling you that answer you will get in one place and that is the section 141. What if the auditor has taken the loan? What if the partner of the auditor has taken the loan? Do you get my point? तो आप उसका आंसर कैसे दोगे? वन बाइक। फाइन। सो बिफोर आई गो माय रिस्ट्रिक्शंस, लेट्स ट्राइ टू। ओके आम क्या हुआ शेष भाई? सर यार कॉम्पलेंस कॉम्पलेंस का शेष हो गया। सेलिब्रेशन? यस सर। वाह। टेकिंग एंड कॉम्पलेजेशन। ठीक है। चलो हम शुरू करते हैं बच्चों। तो नोट नंबर वन हम लिखेंगे राइट ऑन गाइस क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ दी Auditor. Auditor. So that's the first thing. All right. So law clearly says under section 141 when we read subsection 1. What is provided? A person shall be eligible for the appointment as an auditor of a company only if he is a chartered accountant. Got my point? So the first note over here is he should be what? Chartered accountant. But still, I want to clarify, not all the charter accountants are eligible. You should be practicing in India. In India, listen to my words, where you should be practicing? In India. In India. Then and only then, guys, he can be. Otherwise, not. Otherwise, not. Correct. Now, other point it is written about the firm. Look, kya likha? provided that a firm whereof, 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 whereof. Look at this now. Kya likha? A firm whereof majority of the partners practicing in India. Now, this sentence is a gorse of Kya likha? Firm whereof majority of the partners practicing in India. Are qualified for the appointed as aforesaid. Aforesaid means chartered accountant. So look, this sentence, ये जो दो lines आप देख रहे हो ना यहाँ पे, ये इसमें से बहुत सारे questions आ सकते हैं, बहुत सारे। एक तो मैंने आपको बता दिया। तो वो क्या हुआ कि firm majority of the partners should be practicing as chartered accountant. So what is the first message this sentence wants to give? That there can be a firm. It is possible that there can be a firm. Which is 
having the partners as CAs plus other professionals. Possible or not? So what if guys, if I want to set up a tough question, can I put like this, the total 20 partners are there, out of them 9 are CAs and remaining 11 are company secretaries and cost accountants. Is this firm now eligible or not eligible? I'm telling you the power of the two sentences. Try to read between the lines. And in fact, if you just ask this question to ICI, are we allowed to have the partnership with the other professionals? Answer is yes. If you follow the, uh, you know, the ethical code of conduct to what is issued by ICAI, chartered accountants are allowed to have the partnership with other professionals, advocates. Company secretaries, cost accountants allowed here. Oh, no problem. Shh. But I'm very So, okay, in this example, how many total number of partners are there? In this 20? Law kya kaita hai? Law saying that majority of the partners should be chartered accountant. So, guys, at least 11 should be what? If I take this example, so it, it meant to say that at least 11 should be what, you tell me? At least 11 shall be what? CA hone chahiye. Not only CA, they should be practicing in, in India. CA hone chahiye and India mein practice kiya hone chahiye. Then and only then this firm along with the other professionals as partner is allowed to be appointed as what? Auditor of the company. Okay, based upon this guys, answer this question first. So company has total 15 uh, partners. All are ch chartered accountants. So law has two conditions. Majority of the partners should be CA and practicing in India. So majority in here all are what? See, yes. so the first condition is satisfied. Let's check the second condition. What is the second condition? They should be practicing in India. It is written that out of 15, 8 are practicing in the USA. So, guys, this form answer to this question is this form. Come on, guys, what should be your answer? Over here, this form is what? Not qualified. This form is not exactly Pardon? two of them are the both of them must be in india they should both of them must be chartered accountants both of them must be practicing in india then and only then it's possible otherwise don't do one is here one is in the usa that form is here Pardon? majority of them should be practicing in india majority always comes more than 50 percent so two are there According to your question, if two partners are there, only one is practicing in India, other no, is sir, in this question. Okay, in this question. Same answer. Same answer. In fact, even if you see, hey, hey, uh, sorry, I think my bad. If eight are there, it is a uh, fifteen. Agar hai, in order to get major ticket, ne hone chahiye, minimum eight hone chahiye. Yes. So, but the answer is not not qualified. It should be. Yeah, it is called. Sorry, my bad. Sorry, I, I, I was figuring the 20s in my number. I, I forgot to see this 15. The man who was at So, out of 15, are you going क्या हो रहा है रुको 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 मुझे फिर से मैच करना पड़ेगा देखो 15 है out of eight is practicing in the USA ठीक है so how many of them are practicing in India who are not majority sir so condition is not satisfied वही यही आंसर रहेगा not qualified if it goes to two then the answer changes then the form is qualified Sorry, take a Mujil for a confusion. But in short, you have to say that 
आउट ऑफ ऑल हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम आर प्रैक्टिसिंग इन इंडिया और वो नंबर मेजोरिटी है या नहीं अमंग ऑल द पार्टीज टोटल आर सी एस ऑल आर सी एस और ऑल आर सी ए प्लस सम अदर प्रोफेशनल्स सो दैट इज अबाउट सिक्स वन फोर्टी वन सब सेक्शन वन नाउ हियर आई टोल्ड यू लॉन्ग बैक that the word form is written but nothing is mentioned about llp did i say like that but i told the term form ultimately includes the term llp also look at the subsection 2 what is written over here where a form including a limited liability partnership got the point is appointed as an auditor of a company only the partners who are chartered accountants shall be authorized to sign the financial statements so again guys what i'm trying to say the out of look at this example over here 20 partners are there okay assume now in this i would say 12 chartered accountants and eight company secretaries and this is what is the comp i would say composition of the partnership form and if there is a question in exam that okay, okay is this form qualified or not qualified majority of them are chartered accountants practicing now let look at are they in india answer is yes they are in india ashok so yes this form is qualified but can this company secretary sign the financial statement no so answer to this question is only only chartered accountant can act and sign the financial statements no one else can do this am i clear to all of you so that is something about section 141 subsection 1 I think that's what a wonderful question. Can I? Okay, in short, this is the exam question. So we'll see. Go here. Play it out. Play it out. Can an auditor of the company? Company B can an auditor of the company B a body corporate? That is my question, and this question is for the five marks. What's supposed to be answer? So let me tell you, boys. Answer to this question is yes. Body corporate हो सकता है, लेकिन ध्यान रखिए, only LLP can be constituted as the like chartered accountancy. LLP companies are not allowed. Any other body corporation is not allowed. How many of you have seen any company as a CFO? One name, tell me. Dallard LLP is there, PwC LLP is there, but company formation is not allowed. Not allowed. And its behind reason. What's the reason? Company has the separate legal existence. but while you are auditing something personal accountability must be measured who has wrongly certified the financial statement ye pata hona chahiye na and you say no 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 company has done this company has done this what if the member who wrongly certified the financial statement and after doing this he resigned from the membership so the whole blame will get shifted on the company and not on the member and the lifting of corporate veil concept is there but according to the supreme court's guidelines lifting of corporate veil would be allowed only under very rarest of the rare case not all the cases and court will do this you don't have until and unless the court approves it lifting of corporate veil will not not happen during your foundation you must have learned that court has the right to lift the corporate veil you don't have do you understand so Unnecessarily, it will increase the lots of you know the litigations. Yes or no? So उन्होंने क्या कभी झमेला चाहिए नहीं? Body corporates are not allowed. But late by late, in J J Irani committee, there was the recommendation. You are not allowing. Listen to my words. You are not allowing the chartered accountants, advocates, company secretaries. In fact, any professional to form what? The company. If they are not forming the company. they wouldn't be able to enjoy the limited liability concept so in fact in any case 
when firms assets are less and the liability is more creditors can pressurize the professionals to bring the money out of the personal assets is it fair is it fair so in order to give the justice to indian professionals as well as the foreign professionals let me tell you they have allowed a professional to go under llp so guys if today i ask you a question that can auditor of the company be a body corporate answer is yes but which form of the body corporation can be used by such auditor or auditing consulting firm only one and that one is nothing but llp companies and other organizations are not allowed to be formed i hope my explanation is clear got it So not possible that all the channels are being formed and not no no no. Except auditing, auditing. Yeah, other than auditing, if you want to go for the other consulting company, that's the most you are most welcome. In fact, I know some chartered accountants who are director in another company as well as they are running the firm, but they are running let's say accounting business. उसके लिए आप company में जा सकते हैं. Taxation service के लिए कंपनी को यूज कर सकते हो बट एज सुन एज द ऑडिट वर्ल्ड कम्स यू कॉन्ट प्रोवाइड द सर्विसेज इन द नेम ऑफ कंपनी नाउ यू डाउट इज सर वेर इट इज मैं राइट वही तो पढ़ने में आया देखो ये लिखा द फॉलोइंग अदर डिस्कालिफिकेशन अ बॉडी कॉर्पोरेट अदर देन एल एल पी इज नॉट अलाउड to act as what the auditor you may be consultant but not as the auditor am i clear so thank you i think at the same time i have explained the first disqualification also am i clear to all of you yes or no okay bachcha so ek kaam karte bachcha before i move on i think i should give you the chart of uh, this disqualification us chart ko aap yaad kar lo बात खत्म हो जाएगी ठीक है लिखो है आप डिस्कालिफिकेशन आई गिंग यू इन चार्ट अंडर सेक्शन वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी वन Okay. <coughs> so we have to tell A to just said mm -hmm. i aapko m kahan se mila idhar lao m tak kahan se mila ओके सो इट इज नथिंग सही है सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स उन्होंने सेपरेट कर दिया और कुछ नहीं है ठीक है कुछ पॉइंट्स को उन्होंने सेपरेट कर दिया और कुछ नहीं है ठीक है चलिए ओके गाइस आई हैव जस्ट टू थिंग्स टू पैटर्न्स हम करेंगे पहले आई गिव द एंटर होल चार्ट और उसके बाद एवरी क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज गिवन इन द स्टडी मटेरियल आई विल सॉल्व इट इज तो हमारा डबल टेस्ट हो जाएगा कि वॉट एवर यू स्टडीड आफ्टर देन आर यू एबल टू सॉल्व दोज क्वेश्चन और नॉट आर यू रेडी शुरू करें सो वी हैव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पॉइंट नंबर एट राइट बॉडी कॉर्पोरेट दैट्स द फर्स्ट पॉइंट
second point you write down after body corporate we have officer or employee of the company third point what we have it is officer or employee or partner of the officer or employee of the company okay these three are very basic things uh, i have doubt that hardly some questions will be there your real question point is starting from this topic and that one is about section 141 but dhyan rakhna jo de raha hu 141 sub section 3 and clause d and this clause d has the further three classifications can you see this sub clause 1 sub clause 2 and third is sub clause 3 ready okay so right on my dear students here it is the disqualification provided under section 141 sub section 3 and clause number d and that i cannot define in in one thing but one thing i can tell you that it is available to these people understand okay disqualification if it is done by person who is appointed as auditor or his relative and 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 second point is by his partner by his partner okay all right but below this we have three different points to learn right on Point number one is about security. Security stands for investment as a shares or debentures. Okay, right on here. कंडीशंस में आपको बाद में दे दूंगा अभी फिलहाल आप उसको देखिए ठीक है विजिबल ठीक है देखो यहां पे सबसे पहला पॉइंट जो है इट इज अबाउट सिक्योरिटी और इंटरेस्ट सिक्योरिटी और इंटरेस्ट सो आई हैव फ्यू कमेंट्स ऑन दैट पार्ट सेकंड इज अबाउट लोन Second is about what? As you can check it up over here, indebtedness. Indebtedness means nothing but what? Loan. And the third one is about guarantee. Guarantee or security on loan. all right after then we have the another point and that one is talking about the e point and e point is talking about business relation business relation all right after then next point is about full time employment next one is about full time employment
नेक्स्ट वन इज द कन्विक्शन बाई कोर्ट and after then this one is i think i think self explanatory because that already we have done uh while explaining this chapter only humne baat kiya tha ki if the auditor is performing certain services is not allowed to be appointed as auditor under section 144 yaad hai kuch bookkeeping services and all that okay so if providing services under section 144 under section 144 under section 144 so this is about 141 under section 141 Under section 100, here 144. Yeah, one more is there. But there is one here not written, and that one is uh, just a second. Okay, remind me just one question. I have not done it. It is about the limit of the maximum auditor. One auditor can accept how many companies audit. How many companies audit? That is also a question. Okay. Shuru kare. Shuru kare. All right. So here the first point we I have explained that if you are a body corporate. you cannot what is the exception to the body corporate yeah. llp is what the exception only llp as a body corporate can be appointed as auditor theek okay. hai second is the officer or employee cannot be today i am working assume there's a company as as In, in some position, I am CEO, CFO, or maybe I am working just at the fifteen thousand rupees salary on the company's payroll. I am chartered accountant. I do have the COP also. Can I do the audit of that company? Answer is, come on guys, answer is no. I cannot. So I think these two points. I don't want to go much. This point, I have to understand. This, this point, what can I say? This third point. This is the third disqualification. Parse would argue all right. This is the third disqualification. Parse would argue all right. चावल ज्यादा खाए हैं तुमने आज क्या हुआ था अरे थोड़ा रिलैक्स ओके एक बार हॉट वाटर बाथ लेके फिर सोने की कोशिश करो अच्छी नींद आएगी बहुत अच्छी कुछ दिनों पहले मैं लेमन और जिंजर जूस इतना डाल के गटक लिया 6:30 को मेरा क्लास था मेरी आंख 6:40 को खुली या तो कि मेरे को अलार्म का भी पता नहीं चला आई थिंक यू नो एट तू क्या करता है ठीक है एक सुन के यार मेरे नाउ आई यू सीइंग दैट गाइस इन थर्ड पॉइंट द स्टूडेंट्स हैव द प्रॉब्लम सो ये क्या लिखा है एम्प्लॉई और द पार्टनर ऑफ द ऑफिसर और द एम्प्लॉई ऑफ कंपनी यू सी द लैंग्वेज इटसेल्फ इज लिटिल बिट कंफ्यूजिंग Okay, so I'm just telling you what does it mean. So assume there is a company. Okay, company has some employees. Let's say here one employee is Paras, but Paras has one partner. Are you getting me? Paras has one partner. Let's say partner का नाम ही यहाँ पे भाव. And Paras has also one employee. Look at guys the level of the things. Paras का एक partner भी है, Paras का एक employee भी है. Employee का नाम है Sparsh. Assume. And in exam there is a question that can Sparsh or Bhavna be appointed as 
the auditor of the company ye sawal rahega so now guys this point clearly says that any employee or a partner of the employee or officer of the company is also disqualified not allowed okay do you, do you know what's the reason behind this why the law says ke aisa nahi karna aisa nahi karna kyun aisa kar because law doesn't want that we want anyone who has little bit influence in the company because influence creates you know what the professional conflict of interest do you believe in that if my friend is working definitely company will pressurize the employee employee will pressurize me so ultimately my opinion will not be independent then so in order to maintain that independence law has come up with this do you get my point do you get my point but 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 but, but. what is the same question i want to make hard ab main kya karunga i will change the level kaise karunga bachcha i am baat karta hu so assume there is a company and this company has one holding company i guess everyone knows the concept of holding company right so i know need to tell you about this okay this is the company a which is holding one and this is company b which is subsidiary company assume so company a has one subsidiary named company b take in that sense now paras is working under company b not under company a beta meri baat samajh mein aa rahi hai same thing i am i have changed just the holding subsidiary relation theek hai company a is the holding let me put it like this so that aapko samajh mein aa raha hai ye bhai holding hai aur ye kya hai apni subsidiary theek hai Paras is not working under company A, but Paras is working under what? Company B. Can Bhavna be appointed as the auditor of company A? But यहाँ से लेके यहाँ तक का पूरा question आपको पूछा जा रहा है आंसर। चलो भाई ऐसे नहीं तो ऐसे करेंगे ठीक है यार लाइक दिस सो इज दिस अलाउड और नॉट अलाउड व्हाट इज थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस बाय रेफरिंग टू द पर्टिकुलर प्रोविजन अगर ये क्वेश्चन एग्जाम में आए तो क्या लिखोगे दैट्स व्हाट इज माय सिंपल 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 क्वेश्चन अलाउड और नॉट अलाउड Guys, if you read this provision, देखो मजा आएगा। देखो, ये कौन सा point है? C point है ना? Let's check it out here. It is mentioned that a person who is a partner or who is in the employment of an officer or employee of the company, holding company, not mentioned. Subsidiary company, not mentioned. Associate company, not mentioned. Other subsidiary of the holding company, not mentioned. That means, guys. Here, Bhavna can be appointed as the auditor of company A. But, 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 I'm telling you guys, it is the loophole in the law. How come it's a loophole? Sir, so these kind of rules they don't get amended. They will amend it if somebody just bring them to the notice. Don't you think in a society there are a lot of things for which the law is needed? So, so this amendment process, how does it go like? How does it goes like? There are some IRS officers who are working in the Ministry of the Corporate Affairs. So on the day-to-day -day basis, they have a lot of surveys and a lot of complaints. They have you know strict watch on the tribunal matters and uh, high courts matters and Supreme Court matters, and, and they are trying to see that under what circumstances, because of the loophole in the law, the people are not getting the punishment, so they are getting escape out. So they will have one committee, whether you know, general secretary of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. In fact, sometimes the Finance Ministry, I would say the MCM Minister himself, is just uh, presiding over there. They are discussing and they are thinking that this, these things need to be controlled. It is not helping us to achieve our objectives. And they tell some people that 
give us the lot of drafts and after getting the lot of drafts there will be final one draft and then this draft will go to i would say the parliament they will propose these amendments voting will happen after then uh, two third in both the parliament like sessions of rajya sabha as well as, as, well as lok sabha president signature notification and this is how the law gets amended so lot of procedure in fact if you want to just amend the comma agar aapko comma bhi change karna hai same procedure so they don't need any like they don't take any recommendation from cs and cs they they ask from the some of the well known icai members who are well reputed but so far in my life i have not got anything because i am not that much active over there let's if i give just a five recommendations so they find it very useful maybe six time they start taking my recommendation but this is my recommendation obviously i would like to tell them ki why, why you see why why you want to bring this disqualifications so that the auditor should not have any direct indirect influence of the company over him are bolo bhai company any how should not create any domination on him that is why you have all these disqualifications do you agree with this but you tell me guys bhavna is appointed as company a which is the holding company and let's say bhavna has detected some frauds company a will create a tremendous pressure on company b company b will create the tremendous pressure on paras and paras ultimately will create the pressure on because she is the partner so i'm telling you guys this section needs to be amended drastically do you get me what i am saying bachcha aapko isme amendment lana but so far guys as the law is silent ab ek ek aur baat batata hu look at this point section 141 subsection 3 clause d there are three points we are going to learn are hai na if auditor is holding what security if auditor has taken the loan or it is the word what is written over the indebtedness taken some loan either the auditor himself or his relative or his partner i want to tell you they have clarified here look at holding either in the company or in its subsidiary or company's holding or company's associate or another subsidiary of the holding company so here they have mentioned that if you are holding not only company company subsidiary company's holding company's associate other subsidiary of the holding still you are disqualified so when they could clarify here why they have not clarified here so that means that means in this example if bhavna is doing the audit of company a it will not attract any disqualification reason is none of the company is employee is the partner of bhavna company b's employee is the partner with bhavna I am telling you, it's it's not worth it. Me seriously, बोलते हैं भाई ये मेरे को मजा नहीं आया. They should bring, and in future if they bring, it is almost like you said, 2013 to 2024 now, almost 10 years. They have not come up with any amendments. Same language. What do you think? Should we write a letter to Ministry of Corporate Affairs? Tell me. Yeah. Oh, come on, man! You are citizen of this country. लिखना है, बोलो, मजा आ जाएगा. Christ में चर्चे हो जाएंगे आपके. क्या बात है? Share इस तुम्हें mail लिखा है. आ, पारस सोते सोते mail लिख दिया तूने. हाँ, आँखें बंद हो ना. यही तो मजबूरी है पार. पता नहीं कौन इतने वजन डाल देता है आँखों में. आज तक नहीं समझ पाया ठीक है होता है चलिए बेटा इस दिस डिस्कशन क्लियर टू एवरीवन बाई बॉस समझ भाई बात ओके सो नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू वर्ड दर पॉइंट इन दैट वन इज अबाउट लुक एट बेटा ये जो वन फोर्टी वन थ्री सबसेक्शन सबसेक्शन थ्री क्लास डी जो है यू मेक इट फाइव स्टार्स बिकॉज कई बार यहां से क्वेश्चन आई कई बार यहां से क्वेश्चन आई कई बार क्वेश्चन आई First of all, my first question to you is that this section 141, subsection 3 and clause D is applicable to whom? So let me tell you guys, it is applicable to the proposed auditor himself. That means the person himself who is going to be 
audited over there. Second, it is also applicable to relatives. Why I need to clarify this? Second thing, guys, it is also applicable to partner of such person also. So either person is holding or his relative is holding. Got it? Or partner is holding. No issue. Now please try to understand. Look, what law says that you should not hold any security and no any amount is given. That means as being the auditor, listen to my words, as being the auditor, if you are holding just one single rupee security in the company, security means two things, either shares or debentures. Either shares or debentures are also included in the security. Come on guys. So if you, okay, what do you mean by interest here? There are there is a question. How will you define the word interest? So before I go, let's try to understand some terms. So what about what about the company which doesn't have share capital? I'm asking you a simple question. During this year foundation, you must have learned about this concept. And what was that concept, Chhau? There are two types of companies. Companies having share capital. Company doesn't have share capital. You just tell me. If company doesn't have share capital, this is the open challenge to the entire class. If company doesn't have any share capital, according to the law, if you are a private company, minimum two members are compulsory. According to public company definition, minimum seven members are compulsory. So, bhai, jab aapko ye kaha gaya hai ki your company doesn't have share capital, ye seven members kaha se likhe hoge? Because share holding is the way to get what the membership. Isn't it if my company is zero share capital, that means zero membership. And if it is zero membership, isn't it violation of the seven members minimum provision? Counter this. चलो आपको बचपन से पढ़ाई गई चीजों को मैं चैलेंज कर रहा हूँ आज. Giving guarantee. Guarantee से आप member guarantee तो अब तब दोगे जब company limited by guarantee हो. According to company law, now it is not needed to have minimum share capital. Earlier it was a provision minimum 1 lakh and minimum 5 lakhs. I think that fund as you know, during your schoolings you might have done that. But Modi government wants that you can start a company. Okay, come on. Why you are teaching me that I should start my business with always own funds? Can't I start my business with the borrowed funds? Why you, why you are forcing me that I must have to go for the, with the share capital? I want to enjoy the un, I would say limited liability concept without going for the equity or the preference. मुझे loan लेके मेरा business करना है तो आप आप कौन होते मेरे को रोकने वाले? Do you get my point? And let me tell you, shareholder can member can definitely give loan to the company because company is different, members are different. अरे हाँ है ना? But again my question is unanswered guy. मेरा simple और सीधा सा सवाल इतना है that how would you comply the requirement of the seven members so guys let me teach you something about the membership chapter which is the part of your syllabus members and shareholders these two concepts are not same they are different shareholder is the person who is holding the shares and member we have three criteria to learn under section 2 subsection 55 but i don't want to discuss that as of now just one of them is the man or the person whose name is appearing in the register of the membership in the register of the membership and who is applied in company in writing that yes i want to become your member and his and his name is appearing in the register of membership he is the member of company and let me tell you because it has nothing to do with the shareholding in fact the shareholding is one of the ways to get the membership in the company but let me tell you guys the companies like the clubs there are so many clubs which are now companies. They don't have share capital. So how they are selling the membership? They are giving the membership based on the membership fees. You know annual subscription, lifetime subscription. I don't know whether you have seen these kinds of ads or not. Are bolo mere bhai. Subscription to base pe chalta hai. membership fees will make you what? The member of the company even though you don't have the share capital so over here i cannot say that you are holding security but you are holding interest in the company you are interested in the company do you get my point so this the term interest is written in that context 
द टर्म इंटरेस्ट इज रिटन इन दैट कॉन्टेक्सट एम आई क्लियर टू अब ठीक है और थोड़ा आगे बढ़ते सो धरा देर इज अ क्वेश्चन ओके लेट मी लेट मी जस्ट क्लैरिफाई हुआ इफ यू आर होल्डिंग सम सिक्योरिटी इन द कंपनी लॉ हैज कंसर्न If your relative is holding some security in the company, law has the concern. If the person's partner is holding some security, the law has the concern. But relative of the partner is given some freedom. Let me tell you how the question. So, yah, the person if is holding any one single rupee, how much security he is disqualified. Come on, guys. If the person is holding even single rupees shares in a company or membership in the company, that means the interest qualified or disqualified? Disqualified. And this, this, I'm talking in 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 the term of the face value. If you are my relative, the law has given some liberty here. Law has given some liberty. उन्होंने क्या बोला है कि if you are my relative, or it is relative. Because we do not have the control over the relatives. Why? Come on, yar. Who is investing? How much? How can we have the control? So for them, the law has given maximum limit of one lakh. However, it is not clear. It is individual or it is overall. But for the sake of maintaining, you know, the conflict of interest, I would say it is overall, not individual. And this one lakh face value here, which is nominal value here. So guys, is it possible that ten rupees is the face value and four ninety is what? The premium. So total per share you are going for what? Mm-hmm. But are you getting my point? Mm-hmm. Total 500 rupee. So this one lakh, wo premium ke saath nahi hai. Mm-hmm. Only face value hai. So even if your relative has invested 50 lakhs rupees, mm-hmm. including premium, but overall limit is less than one lakh, it is allowed. So guys, if I ask you a question, that a question, in fact, exam mein aayi thi. The wife of the auditor is holding sixty thousand rupees security in the company. That's a debenture or shares anything. Can this auditor continue as the auditor? Is it violation of the section one forty one, subsection three, clause D, and the sub clause one? But the answer is no because relatives are allowed to hold how much? One. One. Okay. So, if you are sixty thousand of face value hold, kar rahe ho, it is not violation. नहीं समझे बट इफ ऑडिटर इज होल्डिंग जस्ट फाइव रुपीज शेयर देन और फाइव शेयर देन देन ऑडिटर इज ऑडिटर हिमसेल्फ इज होल्डिंग फाइव शेयर ऑफ टेन टेन रुपीज टेन टेन रुपीज तो टोटल वैल्यू इज जस्ट फिफ्टी रुपीज देन डिसक्वालिफाइड बिकॉज उसके लिए तो एक रुपया भी अलाउड नहीं है बिकॉज इज वन नेगेटिव रिमार्क अफेक्ट वॉट द स्टॉक मार्केट So guys, if he is himself is holding the shares, would he love to put his own wealth down by giving the negative comments? So anyhow, guys, it can affect his things. Okay. Now, this week question, I am going to ask you. Question, how is it coming? Look, pay attention to the question. Okay. There is a company. Oh, excuse me, just a second, guys. So there is a company. Got. It. This company has decided to appoint, let's say, Mr. Mr. Shares as the auditor. But Shares has a partner. Shares has what? A partner. His partner's name is Mr. Mathru. Shares के पास एक partner है जिसका नाम है Mr. Mathru. Mathru's wife. अब उसका नाम मैं नहीं लूंगा मेरे को भी नहीं पता मात्र वाइफ इज होल्डिंग फाइव लैक्स रुपीज शेयर इन कंपनी होल्डिंग हाउ मच फेस वैल्यू फाइव लैक्स फेस वैल्यू इन द कंपनी कैन श्रेस कंटिन्यू एज द ऑडिटर इन द कंपनी सी एंटर मजेदार है यू नो 
No. Can Shreyas continue as the altar of the company? Yes. Patani. No. Yes. No, yes. Stuck somewhere in between. Thick hai. जिंदगी में कभी कभार छोटी छोटी गलतियां भारी पड़ जाती है अभी मैं बच्चों की मार्कशीट देख रहा हूं दुख होता है रोचन का भी देख रहा था मैं फर्स्ट ग्रुप में उसके डॉट टू हंड्रेड है रोचन वो नहीं वो तो मेरे पास नहीं रोचन रोचन की बात रोचन रोचन ही ना नहीं नहीं रोचन नहीं है रोचन नहीं रोचन नहीं रोचन इस जो पास वो तो ग्रुप्स संचित में भी संचित डॉट टू हंड्रेड इन द फर्स्ट ग्रुप एंड सेकंड ग्रुप वन नाइंटी थ्री पास इन ऑल द ग्रुप्स बट एग्रीगेट में लटक गया वीसी वीसी संचित वही हो ना सेम संचित सेवन मार्क्स लुक एट इस Another mark sheet what I seen first group 220 EIS 33 or 34 something like that. अब वहाँ का जो 20 है उसमें से 10 marks अगर second group में EIS में डाल देते by chance दोनों group निकल जाते भाई दोनों group निकल जाते CA is all about balance. तो मैं ये बात ध्यान रखो। It's not about scoring high in one particular subject, but इसलिए मैं कहता हूँ कि पूरी जान लगा दो, पूरी जान लगा दो। खास करके questions के ऊपर मत छोड़ो कुछ भी, ठीक है? And read the things carefully because some silly mistakes and you are gone. You have expected 60, 65, but what comes is 35, 40. That's something what is not acceptable, but fine, it happens. Look at now. Answer to this question is Shreyas. Come on, guys. What should be answer? Shreyas? Definitely can continue. That's the answer. Exactly. Look at the language. But you to likha hai ki person or the person's relative or a partner. Partner relative is not written. Sometimes if you change the place of the word, the, you know, the, the, the meaning changes. What if guys, in the law, if you just read it over here, D, this word relative, is comes after the partner then. So, the interpretation change ho jata hai, aap ho, person or his partner or relatives, then the word relative is applicable to both, person as well as partner but as the word relative is just before the partner that means the word relative is applicable only to what so pardon relative matlab jo chal dekh ye sare log hai dekh dur ka nahi bada close relationship usme bhi likha hai thik hai ye dekh le members of HUF so HUF will come to the house of the house. Husband and wife. When one person is related to the other in such manner as may be prescribed. In the prescription, you can understand that you can see the lineage of the father, mother, brothers, sisters, daughters, sons. Got my point? They will come to all of them. They will come to all of them. But son of uncle won't be considered. कजन वो नहीं आएंगे अब आप एक समझो एक ही डायनेस्टी में होने चाहिए अब जैसे आप समझो एक ही जो चेन में जो है उसी हिसाब से अगर दूसरा चलो नेफ्यू हो गया निशिस हो गया वो पर फिर करने जाओगे तो कहीं ना कहीं कोई ना कोई रिश्ता तो मिलेगा नो दैट इज़ नॉट राइट आप आइए सो हियर यू ट्राइड टू अंड Come on guys, so here we have a doubt about children. What's the doubt is? Look at this, what is it? That a person or his relative or a, or a partner is holding any security, any security or interest in the company or its subsidiary. But please write down over here. This is applicable to whom? The company. All right. Or company is a subsidiary. 
ओके और कंपनीज होल्डिंग कर्ज और कंपनीज एसोसिएट और कंपनीज पार्टनर इज नॉट गिवन इन द बुक वॉट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रो शो मे अरे दैट इज द एक्सेप्शन अरे यू रीड द अबो पॉइंट क्या कर रहे हो यार and the relative word should be or his relative hmm. so this and then this but for the relative they have a separate explanation oh. that i should know 1 lakh yes sir yes. one lakh limit is not, not applicable to partner it's not applicable to the person himself but it yes. is applicable to the relative right or associate company chalo usko dekh lete hain or 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 oh, wait 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 और सब्सिडरीज ऑफ द होल्डिंग अदर सब्सिडरीज दैट्स वोट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट so guys these many companies if you have the investment as a shares or a venture you are disqualified am i clear to all of you okay now dekho major problem kaha hai ki when you read this paragraph it's written that provided that is relative of uh, the company like relative of that person may hold the security or interest in the company of the face value not exceeding how much it is written but i i think this is what the doubt most of the time the students are asking sir so law is saying 1000 My book is saying one lakh. Comparatively, the Ministry of Corporate Affairs website should be given the first priority. So, sir, book is wrong. So, one thousand versus one lakh. What's the, what's the true picture? एक बात समझे आगे लिखा है one thousand or any other amount as may be prescribed by the central government. So, guys, central government by bringing the amendments in the rules increase this limit from one thousand to one lakh. So guys, one thousand or whatever is prescribed by the government, whichever is higher, you have to take. Okay. So if you click on the rules now, come here. This one lakh ru uh, rupees is provided here. So guys, this one lakh limit hasn't been hasn't been taken from uh, the provision. It's taken from the rule ten of the Company Auditors Rules 2014 and sub rule one. Picture is clear. Come on. All right. Now one more thing is coming. One more thing is coming, and the question goes like this: that um, write down a question if you want to, please. That's the next question from this. ये समझ में आ गया? That if you are holding in company or holding. तो एग्जाम में ये भी क्वेश्चन आ सकती है नॉट होल्डिंग इन कंपनी बट व्हाट इफ यू आर होल्डिंग द शेयर्स ऑफ द होल्डिंग कंपनी ऑफ दैट कंपनी आर यू क्वालिफाइड और डिस्कालीफाइड डिस्कालीफाइड ठीक है चलो अब बात ये कि ऑडिटर ओके कंपनी हैज अपॉइंटेड सी एच राव एज ऑडिटर बॉट हिज वाइफ इज होल्डिंग रुपीज टू लैक्स shares in subsidiary company subsidiary company of the concern company can he be appointed as auditor what do you think about this can he be 2 lakh in i would say face value can ch chira continue as the auditor or not bolo bhai मेरे को ऑल्टो बनाओगे ओके बच्चे राइट 
Answer to this question is yes. We can continue. Welcome in C Inter. नहीं रिलेटिव भी है भाई अरे तो समझ यार ये जो चीजें वो इन तीनों तीन का इन सब में अलाउड है तो रिलेटिव आएंगे भाई रिलेटिव आएंगे शॉक शॉक तो कोई बात नहीं ये लगना चाहिए क्योंकि शॉक लगेगा तो याद रहेगा मैं इतना मानता तो। हूँ गलतियां कभी हम नहीं भूलते तो मैं तो कहता हूँ गलतियां करो और उसे पहचानो गाइस माय वाइफ वाज होल्डिंग टू लैक्स इन द कंपनी सो डेफिनेटली आई डोंट डिजर्व बट आई वांट टू टेल यू व्हेन यू रीड द रूल्स लॉ हैज गिवन सम टाइम लिमिट टू रेक्टिफाई द मिस्टेक सो व्हाट लॉ सेज दैट नो मैटर माय रिलेटिव्स आर होल्डिंग हाउ मच मोर देन 1 लाख रुपीस फेस वैल्यू शेयर्स इन द कंपनी और इन दिस एंटायर ग्रुप ऑफ द कंपनीज बट विद इन 60 डेज इफ आई पुट दैट लिमिट डाउन विद इन हाउ मच टाइम Within 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 60, 60 days, if I I I put this lakh rupees down, then can can continue, continue, no issue. So guys, I can continue, but with a condition that within 60 days I have to put my all the relatives limits below one lakh or up to one lakh. So what if I tell to my my uh, wife that please? Do don't hold it. It is affecting my auditorship. And what if I made her to sell one lakh rupees shares? Then, then it's allowed. But this thing should be done within what time? Within what time? Six to eight. Okay. So guys, please read this point. I would like to bring that to your notice. देखो क्या लिखा है? Provided further that in the event of the acquiring any security or interest by a relative, if the above limit of the one lakh rupees is maintained, within what time? Then the auditor can continue. No issue. Then the auditor can continue. There is no issue. So then you can go. Then. No, not a holding with a appointment. appointment. Exactly. No, wait, 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 wait. Look, actually there are two points. From the appointment sixty days. Second thing, what if after getting appointed your relative bought it? <laughs> Then again sixty days from the acquisition. So this term acquisition, you have to use context. Me, lena. If you are already holding it. Within 60 days you have to tell them that, that give up, and if you don't give up, तो आपकी disqualification मानी जाएगी, and if it is disqualification, compulsorily you have to vacate the office. Vacate का मतलब क्या हुआ? आपको निकल जाना पड़ेगा. And once you have vacated the office due to disqualification, the new vacancy what is created would be considered as a casual vacancy, and according to will be filled up according to section 139, sub section one जो हमने पहले पढ़ा हुआ था. क्या मेरी बात? समझ में आ रही है बेटा ये इतना गजब सवाल है वो मैंने पहले बता दिया इज इट इंडिविजुअल लिमिट और इट इज ओवरऑल ट्रस्ट मी गाइस दिस आंसर इज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड हियर बट आई वुड लाइक टू टेक इन दी आई वुड से ऑप्टिमिस्टिक वे इट इज सब्जेक्ट टू लिटिगेशन अभी इसका कोई क्लैरिफिकेशन नहीं है मैं आपको बताऊं फॉर मी दिस वन लाइक इज द क्यूमुलेटिव क्यूमुलेटिव नहीं ऐसा हो सकता है ना देख एक तुम मेरा लॉजिक मुझे बताओ ट्रांसफर की बात नहीं है यार अदानी का शेयर कितने में अभी चल रहा है 1700 हंड्रेड फेस वैल्यू कितनी उसकी दस दस रुपये तेरे पास पाँच लाख रुपए के तूने शेयर खरीदे उसमें फेस वैल्यू तेरे कितनी होगी तो उसमें तेरी फेस वैल्यू कितनी नॉमिनल होगी ना बट अब देखो समथिंग व्हाट आई डिडंट वांट टू टेल यू बट आई आई हैव टू टेल दिस दिस प्रोविजन दिस रूल्स आई डोंट वांट टू एंटरटेन क्यों 
it is violating it is violating the right of privacy what is provided under the constitution of this country how come it is violating the privacy assume you, you i am telling you my son in law is the part of my relative because daughter's husband is also part of what relative so how it will look like when i am going to be appointed as as the auditor in the company i called my son in law that beta are you holding such shares in this company and he said yes sasur ji i am doing this i requested please give it up obviously i am elder and just to give me the respect and the honor what did he do he gave them i give the next uh, sorry but uh, for this time you again but also tell me do you have any investments in uh, holding also he said yes please he was also after one day again i called but uh, just one more query do you have investment in the subsidiary subsidiaries of this company he said yes i have four subsidiaries please last do you have investment in the associate of this company yes are yes bhai please chhod do us give it up for me because i want to become auditor or bring it to below 1 lakh like, okay i'll do that last call do you have any investment in subsidiaries of the holding what reply you will expect na ek kaam kar beti wapas le ja bhai ab hat ho rahi hai this you know how, how can you expect auditor to interrogate each and every relative bhai are you within 1 lakh or beyond 1 lakh asking this question is the breach of privacy जो मेकिंग इज लाइक अ बैग डू फील दैट पता नहीं किसने प्रोविजन लिखी है यार अपने तक ठीक है रिलेटिव को क्यों इन्वॉल्व करो एंड एंड गाइस यू डोंट हैव एक्सपीरियंस अभी आपकी शादी नहीं हुई है समटाइम्स वाइफ मेक सम इन्वेस्टमेंट विदाउट आर नॉलेज उसका क्या करोगे पता ही नहीं <laughs> उसी कपड़े में शेयर डाल दी <laughs> तो क्या करोगे हाउ वुड यू ट्रीट दिस लिटिगेशन टू द कोर्ट कोई आंसर नहीं है लॉ बना दिया उन्होंने पता ही नहीं लॉ कैसे बनता है सॉरी आई एम क्वेश्चनिंग द लॉ मेकर्स बट यस और लोग वेरी सीधी सी बात है भाई इफ आई एम रॉन्ग आई मे बी रॉन्ग आल्सो मुझे काउंटर दो मे बी योर लॉजिक इज बेटर देन माय लॉजिक बट सो फॉर व्हाट इज रिटन इन द लॉ हियर अंडर दिस सिचुएशन यू आर मेकिंग द ऑडिटर टू रिक्वेस्ट इच एंड एवरी रिलेटिव are you under one lakh or not no please for sake of mine give it up just because of your holding i am losing the interest over there my resume is going to be messed up mujhe bhi likhna hota hai kai bhai i was the auditor of infosys i was the auditor of reliance geo infocom kai bhi to likhna padega mujhe to khair i didn't want to tell this but as the point demands i had to Okay, guys. So once uh, I, I took some long time to explain the point number one, but point number two and point number three, I won't take such long because most of the things you have understood now. Second point here, it is talking about the indebtedness. It is talking about what? Yes. Indebtedness. And in indebtedness, it says that if the company is indebted, in indebted, what does it mean? Karza. Company was creditor for you. Company was a lender for you. Under any circumstance, anyhow, if you need to pay something to the company, you can't be auditor. Not only in the company, but the same model will be followed. I want to tell you guys, uh, this point number one, this point number two, and this point number three. Same, this things would be applicable. Same, this things would be applicable. So, if you are indebted to company or holding of the company or subsidiary or associate or other subsidiaries of the holding, you are disqualified. But here. some limits are also provided i would like to bring those limit to here yahan pe limit aapko diye 5 lakhs ki kitni diye bachcha 5 lakhs ki but yahan pe ek interesting point aapko padhni hai rules mein kya likha hai for the purpose of the subsection 2 right a person who or whose relative or a partner is indebted to the company or its subsidiary or its holding or associate or a subsidiary of the such holding in excess of rupees 5 lakh 
excess of 5 lakhs, then he shall not be eligible for the appointment. Okay, anyone can try to explain me what is the fundamental difference between sub rule 1 and sub rule 2. Let me tell you what the difference is. Sub rule 1 is talking about the security. So, for the auditor and his partner, rules are different. But for the relative rules are different. For the relatives, they have given the exemption limit of 1 lakh. But no limit, such limits are provided for the person or the partner. So, if partner is holding only 1 rupees debenture or even 1 rupees security, then disqualified. Immediately is disqualified. But over here, this file acts, no such discrimination. So, it applies to everyone, including auditor. So today if I am asking you this question that uh, let's say he, he bought uh, some goods from the company valued rupees 3 lakhs. I was appointed as, as, as the auditor of the Samsung. Like in Samsung say 3 lakh ka minute will hear. Am I indebted to a company for the 3 lakhs rupees? Can I continue as the auditor? Yes. Can I continue as the auditor? Yes. Answer is yes. Because the limit is how much? 5 lakhs and that is applicable to the auditor also. So ye fark samajna lo, ye difference jo hai aap the difference of caste so much but am I clear to all of you uh, okay uh, now third I am talking about here the guarantee or the security here coffee interesting here what is written over here I am not reading the provision because rules are more amended okay provision may contain some amount which is maybe amended by the rules it is written that if a person or relative or a partner has given a guarantee or any security in connection with the indebtedness of any third person. Okay, to the company or then this entire model, but up to what rupees in excess of in excess of one lakh shall be ineligible so again i know what's what's doubt is so we couldn't understand this point ye kya kehna chahta i uske liye ek ek hum yahan pe le lete hain scene suppose here there is a company got it and here mr matru goes to this company to take a loan but understand who goes to the company to take a loan matru for rupees 25 x company de denied get lost I can't supply so Matru comes to me that bhai please help na yaar they are denying to supply me the loan so what I have done is just to protect the interest of the Matru I gave guarantee to the company that company you release 25 lakhs to Matru if Matru doesn't pay then I will pay and later on company wants to make me as, as auditor <laughs> qualified or disqualified okay first of all you understand i have not taken the loan if i would have taken the loan or my relative would have taken the loan it would go under the point number two not the under the point number three aap pahle difference samjho aur agar point number two mein matter ja rahi limit is five lakhs not a one lakh ठीक है पर यहाँ पे क्या किया कि यानी third person is taking some indebtedness from the company and you are giving guarantee to the company or security to the company stating that if it doesn't pay, I will pay. You tell me directly, indirectly, guys, if Matru fails to pay this 25 lakhs, the whole burden will shift to your shoulder or not? Yes or no? So, again, guys, can it be one of the reasons to not to perform the duties well? The Lord doesn't want this. And therefore, come on, guys, therefore. CH Iraq is disqualified. Ha, but if it is up to one lakh, no issue. But all of you do clear in, in, in this point what so far we have discussed. So this model we have discussed. So 141, subsection 3 and clause D. It's very, very significant, very, very important. And I think I have tried to explain or you have to understand that if in Tino mein se kitre kitre questions achhi tarikhe se wo agar chahe to puch sakte hai yes or no ye part yaha pe samajh mein aa gaya bichu sir kya mere sabse wo shares wale mein cumulative hi hona chahiye in fact 
जितने भी लिमिट्स हैं वन लैख फाइव लैख वन लैख टोटल क्यूमिलेटिव बट वो कंफ्यूजिंग है भाई क्योंकि आप रिलेटिव को नहीं पूछ सकते यार क्योंकि वो अपना पर्सनल डिटेल्स क्यों आपको देगा तो नहीं भाई वो सिक्सटी डेज सिर्फ रिलेटिव के लिए है रिलेटिव के लिए है आपके लिए नहीं आप समझ रहे हैं वो रिलेटिव वाली बात है ठीक है बच्चा एम आई क्लियर टू एवरी वन अबाउट दिस एक छोटा सा ब्रेक लेंगे अभी देखिए ऑलरेडी यू पीपल हैव टेकन लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू कम तो मेरी रिक्वेस्ट इतनी है एक छोटा सा ब्रेक लीजिए और फिर तुरंत वापस आ जाइए तो भाई मैं टाइम पे कुछ कंप्लीट कर पाऊंगा वरना भी देखो बेटा इसके बाद मुझे चार चैप्टर्स छोटे छोटे और लेने हैं दो चार और है आठ टॉपिक अभी भी पेंडिंग है सो प्लीज मैं रिक्वेस्ट इसका थोड़ा जल्दी कीजिएगा आप लोग समझ में आ रही बात है ठीक है अच्छा अगर ये प्रूव हो जाता तो आप इंसाइडर ट्रेडिंग कर रहे हो दस साल की जेल की सजा है लेकिन अगर प्रूव नहीं हुआ है तो कर सकते हो लॉ खुद अलाउ कर रहा है इतना प्रूव कर लो कि आई डिडेंट से हर इट वॉज हर सोल डिसीजन विच इज इजिली कैन बी प्रूव तो करो ना कोर्ट को सच्चाई से क्या लेना देना उसको सबूतों से लेना देना जॉली एल एल बी घर उस मूवी ऑफ अक्षय कुमार आई डोंट नो एक हरभजन सिंह करके जज का एक कैरेक्टर था उसमें और शुरू में एक एक बहुत बढ़िया सी बात बोली गई थी मुझे वो काफी सही लगती है आप कागज कोर्ट कागज का भूखा होता कोर्ट इज हंग्री फॉर द डॉक्यूमेंट्स यू ब्रिंग द डॉक्यूमेंट्स आई विल एडमिट दैट ही इज नॉट अदर पर्सन ही सचिन तेंदुलकर मैं ये भी मान लूंगा तो आप कागज लेके आओ ना बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट लेके आओ कोर्ट मान तो सचिन तेंदुलकर है ठीक है गाइस तो ये हो गया थोड़ा छोटा सा ब्रेक लीजिए फिर फिर आगे कंटिन्यू